everyone, I'm Julianne from the Edmonton Public Library, and today I'm here to give you a tour of the library from the comfort of your own classroom. I'm hoping to fill you in on the many fabulous reasons to visit the library, but first things first, in order to visit the library, you first need to know where we're located. There are 21 library branches located in Edmonton, and they're all open seven days a week. If there isn't a library branch near you, have no fear. We have EPL to go vans that regularly visit parts of the city that don't have branches in order to deliver library programs and services. EPL offers a wide range of services, some of which are location specific, like maker spaces and quiet study rooms. So check out your nearest branch online at epl.ca to see what's offered. Now that you know where to find the library, you may be asking yourself what sorts of things can you do in the library? You can study in one of our quiet areas or collaborate with your friends on homework assignments. Every branch has comfortable seating areas so you can relax with a book. If you're lucky, you may even find a cozy fireplace to warm up beside. You can browse the collection to find your next great read or that book on globalization that you need for your social studies assignment. And speaking of that assignment, have you ever found yourself without printer ink and an impending deadline? We can help. You can print, photocopy, scan, edit, and email your assignment right here in the library. Every location of the Edmonton Public Library offers free Wi-Fi and public computers, so you can surf the web using your own device or use one of ours. In branches with makerspaces, you can access a variety of technological tools, including 3D printers, vinyl cutters, robots, recording studios, iMacs for digital design, sewing machines, a bookbinding machine, and more. There are no limits to what you can create. There are a lot of things that you can do at the library, but there are a few things that you can't. The Edmonton Public Library is here to serve all of the members of our community, from infants and teens all the way up to seniors. Every branch is a shared space being used by people for a lot of different things all at the same time. As you can imagine, it can be tricky to meet the needs of everyone all at once. In order to make things easier, we have a list of expectations that we've posted in all of our branches. We ask all of our visitors to remember the three R's. Respect yourself, respect others, and respect the space. You may find yourself wondering whether you need a library card in order to use our space or participate in our programs. And you don't, but there are lots of reasons why you may want a library card anyway. First of all, library cards are available free of charge. Secondly, library cards are the key to gaining access to all of our materials and online resources. Getting a library card is easy. You just need a parent or guarantor to sign you up, either online or at any branch of the Edmonton Public Library. Once you have a library card, you can borrow items from the library or download them from online. You may think that libraries are limited to lending books, books, and more books, but we offer so much more than that. You can also borrow video games, movies, music, magazines, and more. You can borrow up to 40 items at a time on your library card. Most items are a three-week loan, with the exception of our Hits to Go titles, which are a one-week loan. Items can be renewed up to two times for a maximum loan period of nine weeks, as long as there are no holds on the items. Magazines and Hits to Go items are not eligible for renewal. Best of all, there are no late fees, but we do ask that you return your materials on time or renew them if needed. On top of that are all of our digital resources. We offer a wide range of electronic resources, including ebooks, e audiobooks, uh, online movies and music, digital access to newspapers, journals, and magazines from around the world, apps to help you learn a new language, resources to help you choose a career and write your first resume, and fabulous databases, including Solero and BrainFuse, that can help you with your homework. For more information on our digital offerings, please check out our Digital Resources for Junior and Senior High module. If I've managed to really wow you with everything that the library offers, you may be thinking to yourself, can I volunteer, complete my work experience, or even find a job at the library? The answer is yes. For information about careers and how you can support EPL, visit us at epl.ca and click on the links at the bottom of the page. If you have any questions about the library, let us know. There are lots of ways to get in touch with us, including in person, by phone, through text, email, or web chat. We hope to see you all soon.